What's good? I'm Tyler Casey and I'm back with another editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over one of my favorite effects, the VHS effect. Really how to fine tune it and really get some dope effects out of this. Before we get into that, if you're new to my channel here, I post behind the scenes of my music videos. I break down some of the lighting in my music videos and I talk about film gear. Disclaimer. If you want to do the VHS effect, gonna have to have Red Giant Universe. I'm gonna link Red Giant Universe right there. I will get no money from that link. I've tried to contact Red Giant and get some type of affiliate link, but they're not offering that. So if you guys do go purchase Red Giant, make sure to let them know that I sent you there because I definitely do like the Red Giant product and it does add a lot more to Premiere. So I'm gonna play around with some of this footage right here. Cool. So we all know the basics. You can go VHS. You can type it in, and boom, you're left with that. But this is 60 frames per second right here, this clip. But when you have a real VHS clip, if you want to go for that really old school type look, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come in here and you're going to want to change the layout to 4x3. So look at that. So I like the 4x3 look, that's up to you. So the first thing that I think a lot of people miss when doing the VHS is they don't zoom in. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna create an adjustment layer right here and I'm going to drag that on top, boom. And then I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna put that on here. Now what we can do is we can do a zoom up into his face. And then we can make a keyframe and we can punch back out. Uh, see what we did there is we didn't, we did not keyframe the position. So we're going to reset the position right there. Actually, let's zoom in. Let's set that one there and then reset there. And then we're going to reset right back there. Cool. So now when we play that through, we get a little zoom. It's nothing extreme, but that's literally how you zoom because vice versa, if you didn't do that, let's put that on here. So now let's see what the zoom would look like if we didn't have the VHS under the adjustment layer. Ah, look at that. We zoom out and then we get, so we get that look right there, which it really isn't that cool. I mean, it can be used. Maybe let's say you want to zoom into the frame, but I think the adjustment layer is a lot better way to go. So cool, we're gonna try another, we're gonna try it a different way right here so you can do a little bit more stuff. So I'm gonna, you can use, you can use motion controls, but here I'm gonna use transform so I can get a little blur in there. Transform, awesome. And then we're gonna change the shutter angle to 360. Then we're gonna find where we wanna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in right there. It's VHS footage, so you know what? I'm gonna zoom into 200%. So we have to remember that we wanna put him in the middle because we are gonna crop into the four by three aspect ratio. Awesome, and I'm gonna move up a little bit. It's just a simple keyframe. Cool. And, and then create another keyframe and we'll zoom out to 150 there. And then on the next drop, we're gonna zoom all the way back out. We'll punch in to 250, and then we'll pop out. Okay, cool. So, I mean, we zoom in, we get the blur, and then we pop out. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna make a cut right there. Let's say that's gonna be our clip. Now what we have to do is, like I showed before, if I put the, VHS, if I put the VHS effect right on that clip, it's not gonna work it's gonna zoom into the actual frame. And if I put the adjustment layer, that's gonna work, but then it's not gonna work with what I'm gonna show after this. So what we have to do is we have to right click and we're gonna click nest. So what this does is this puts, this kind of makes this a new clip and then you can click in and then you're in a new sequence and then we see all the edits we did there. There's those edits, but then when we're here, there's no edits. So now if we drag the VHS effect back on this, Um, there's the four by three. Now let's export that out and watch it. 
So as you can see, we have our effect there, but now we can do something else. So a couple of people have been asking me to break down a video where I've done this effect. So this is kind of what I'm breaking down here. And this is what I was kind of getting to. So you can put footage behind this effect. This kind of breaks the whole VHS effect. Like it's not very true to what it was, but it does create a lot of type of layers. I did this on the SOB video, hit them up part two, and I've done this on lots of other videos. So now you can see we have VHS footage with water in the background. This is actually a pretty cool effect. So this one definitely has to be done by nesting because if you did it with the adjustment layer, which I'll show you, let's grab an adjustment layer one more time. Let's try it over here. And let's just copy the VHS effect right under there. And, oh well. Let's drag another clip back on. Let's drag another clip back on. And look at that. We don't see the water, but the water is there. But on this, because we nested it and we had the VHS on, it leaves the side over here open to anything under. So if I put this clip under, we're going to have that. So you can play around a lot with that. That's pretty much everything I'm gonna cover on the VHS effect today. So definitely nesting is your friend if you're gonna to wanna to throw footage underneath. Make sure to tell Red Giant Tyler Casey sent you. And if you guys wanna check out some of the gear I use, just click my affiliate link right there under gear I use. Anything you guys purchase, I get a small percentage from, so that'll be super cool. Last but not least, make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about this video if they like VHS effects. I'm Tyler Casey, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.